It was a hot day in the backyard, hotter than a sausage on safari. But I had a case to crack, a case about a missing cookie, and a teddy bear with a secret. <gasps> so, Mr. Bear, you were the last one seen near the cookie jar. What do you have to say about that? Not talking, eh? Think you look innocent, eh? You don't look innocent to me. But he couldn't have taken it. He's a good teddy. There's no one else who could have taken the cookie. Absolutely no one. Stop right there, mister. Is that a cookie in your hand? Uh-uh. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was you, Eddie Sticky Fingers. Yes, I admit it. Mm. You caught me, Sherlock Sophie. I knew it wasn't you. You're a good bear, aren't you? Yes, you are. The case of the missing cookie is solved! Hooray! Hooray! That was a great play. You sounded just like a real detective, Sophie. I want to be a real detective. I love solving crimes, especially with my new detective kit. Here's my flashlight, my magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, Mia. That badge is for detectives only. I want to be a detective. It takes a lot of hard work to be a detective. You have to practice finding clues, solving mysteries, cracking cases. Oh, that's why they call me Detective Sherlock Sophie. So where's our next case, Sherlock Sophie? I say we go on an adventure to the farm. Maybe there's a rotten rabbit up to no good. Or a dastardly duck. <laughs> <laughs> or a lost lamb. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got crimes to solve. Hit it, Ziggy. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song to the farm, mystery was in the air. I'm looking for a crime to solve, just like a real detective. So, can I be a detective now? Well, you can be a junior detective. Do I get to wear a badge? Junior detectives don't get badges, but you can guard my detective stuff until I come back. Okay. shiny bell I wear around my neck, it's gone! It was there on the stool. I turned around to eat some oats, then suddenly, no more bell. Marge, did you lose the bell again? The one I got you for your birthday? I didn't lose it, Bernie. It was there, and then it just disappeared. Or someone took it. <laughs> Sounds like a mystery to me. Marge, are you sure you didn't leave it somewhere? I'm sure it's the ring in your nose. Ha! Huh, where is your nose ring? The one I got you for your birthday. I took it out to blow my nose. It's right over here on the bench. The bench! It's empty! Someone stole my nose ring! This is definitely a case for Detective Sherlock Sophie. Hmm. We need clues. Not feathers. I'll get my detective kit. 
<gasps> My detective badge is gone. And so is Mia. Mia really wanted that badge, and I left her here guarding my detective kit. Do you think that Mia... Mia took the badge. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm a detective, Kobe. Of course I'm sure. Feathers! What I have to find are... Aha! Uh -huh! Footprints! A clue! Come on, let's follow them. Yes! Come on! I can't believe it! Mia took Sophie's badge. She does like shiny stuff. My bell is shiny! I'll bet Mia took that too. And my nose ring. When we find Mia, she's going to have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, maybe Mia didn't take. Let me handle this, Kobe. I have a badge. Well, I had a badge. Help! 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 <sighs> Phew. Thanks. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught red-handed. Huh? You took my detective badge. And my bell. And my nose ring. The mystery is solved. Mia did it. <laughs> me? No. Honest. Let me explain. Okay, but it better be good. I was guarding the detective kit like you told me to. And then... I saw something fall out of the sky. Huh? A black feather. I looked back and saw a bird with black feathers. And it had your badge. Stop! Come back! I followed the bird and saw it drop the badge into a nest. <sighs> Uh, uh. There were other shiny things in there, too. Then I slipped. Ah! Uh. And that's when you guys showed up. Do you expect us to believe that? Look, everyone! It's a magpie. Scientific fact, magpies love shiny things. See? I told you. The magpie took all the stuff. Okay, you got me. I took all of it. When I see shiny stuff, I, I, I just can't help myself. Here, take it. Take it all. The feathers were clues. And I didn't realize that. But you did. Mia, I'm really, really sorry I blamed you for taking my badge. That's okay, Sophie. Here's your badge back. No, you deserve to wear it. You're not a junior detective, you're a real detective. Wow, thanks. Let's hear it for Detective Mia. Impressive. Good work, Mia. Yay, Mia. Great job. <laughs> there it goes. Look at it fly. Wow, it's so high. We're gonna get it down. This is a job for Super Ready! Only Super Ready can lift a rocket ship with his bare hands. <gasps> ah! <laughs> and only Super Ready has the superpowers to rescue an airplane from Super Toss Up to the Rescue! Huh? Super Tessa? No way! This backyard's not big enough for two superheroes. But if Sophie and I can both be detectives, maybe you and Tessa can both be superheroes. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, Super Tessa, show me your power! <laughs> We're both superheroes! <laughs> See me fly 
stage, I command you to be silent. Excellent. You are the best subjects, and I am the best ruler. I'm the best ruler. The king. King of swing. Swing me higher, swings. No one rules better than me. I do. I'm the queen of the sandbox. I command the sand. Obey me, sand. Good sand. No sand queen can stand up to me. I rule the treehouse, and from way up here, I can rule the whole backyard. I'm the queen of everything. I rule the backyard. I rule the backyard. I'm a better ruler than you are. Nuh-uh. I'm the best ruler. I'm a better ruler than you. I think I'm a pretty good leader. I already lead the band. Okay, so who's the best ruler? Why don't we go ask someone who knows all about being a ruler? You mean me? No, I mean the queen of Jungle Land. Let's go to Jungle Land and find out. Great idea. I love the jungle. Okay, but she'll pick me. I have a tiara. It's time for another adventure. Hit it, Ziggy. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We came here to ask, which one of us would make the best ruler? I think I'd be good. I'd be great. I think I'd be best. I'm a leader. <laughs> my, my. You are all so excited, I can't decide who to choose. I'll tell you what. I'm going to visit some friends. Why don't I leave you here and let you figure out how to best rule Jungle Land while I'm gone? Uh, all okay. right. All right. I'm glad that's settled. Well then, goodbye. Have so long. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Uh, uh, I could use a little help here. Be the leader. No, I should be the leader. I'm brave and I'm ready to be King Eddie with courage and command. None would rule above me, the creatures would love me, the Queen of Jungle Land. This queen is surprising with her exercising. I love the feel of fitness. Well, I know how to win. Biggie, Kings, Kobe, and Ziggy, an extra king on hand. I'd be double daring. I'd be extra caring. Fitness I'd be sharing. A crown I'd be wearing if I ruled Jungle Land. I should be the leader. You can't be no, king. I should be king. I should be, should king. be me. Can't be king. <laughs> It's 
a dinosaur. <laughs> You should be the ruler. You'd be much better than I would. You should be the ruler. I vote for you. <laughs> it sounds big. And scary. And huge. And loud. And dino humongous. Maybe we can scare it away. But it's a big monster and we're too little. We could build something bigger and louder and scarier. Listen, you guys, I have an idea. Okay, here's what we do. Eddie, you go. scare the monster away. Won't it? It has to, right, Sophie? We just have to stick together and be as scary and big as we can. <laughs> and laugh. But my froggy friends are sure frightened. That was a pretty scary puppet show. We thought a big monster got you. And we were trying to scare it away. My, my. That was quite brave of you. Of all of you. Oh, it was nothing. We're, you know, brave. And stuff. We were really scared. Yeah, that too. But what was that sound? I was teaching the frogs my favorite jungle song. I learned it when I was just a wee little teeny tiny tortoise. One, two. Boo-ha, boo-ha, boo-ha. Isn't it a lovely song? I didn't used to like it, but now it's my favorite song ever. <laughs> So, for working together, and for having the courage to face an unknown fear, I pronounce you all together, Jungle Land Rulers for a Day! Hooray! Boo-ha! 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 Welcome to Kobe Presents Jammin' with the Wigglebottom Band. Hooray! Oh, yeah! Go Ziggy! The band will now perform that favorite song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Ziggy Digga One, Ziggy Digga Two. Get it going, Amp? You know what to do. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Hip Hop, go play that guitar. <laughs> this is fun. Let's dance. Yeah, <laughs> let's dance. I'm gonna dance Tessa style. That's some twinkling starry strumming. Burly, get those drums a drumming. Yeah, cool. Stars are twinkling way up high like diamonds shining in the sky. Burly, stick to the beat. Burly, my drum beaten bear, that was wild, but it wasn't fair. You can make those drum skins scream, but our band plays as a team. Two, three, four! Sounds good, guys! Go Ziggy! No 
now's a good time for a standing ovation. We're a doing it together celebration. Hooray! Yay! Ziggy! Hooray! 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 Yay! Yay! Yeah! Kobe, why'd you stop? I was just getting into it. More like a loud noise. Woohoo! Yay! This is very fun! <laughs> Woohoo! I love loud noises! I'll be back. Roar! Here comes the dinosaur! <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Louder! Roar! <laughs> Louder! Roar! Just put the animals down for a nap. And they need total quiet so they can sleep. <sighs> Aren't they the cutest, sweetest, snooziest? Okay, Mia, we'll keep it down. <sighs> Every time I make some noise, someone always tells me to be quiet. I mean, wouldn't it be great if there was some place where we could make as much noise as we wanted to? Yeah. Where no one ever complains if you're loud. Yeah! Shh! Or says, shh! Hmm. <gasps> the land of the loud! That's where we need to go. Where's that? It's where we can be as loud as we want. Awesome! Land of the loud, here we come! Shh! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Rats, you woke everyone up. Oops. Shh, don't worry. I'll sing you back to sleep when the noises are gone. Rock-a-bye babies on the back lawn. You'll go to sleep when the noises are gone. Wait up, guys. <laughs> Quiet for the land of the loud. Loud, 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 loud. Loud, 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 loud. Now that's more like it. Hey, let's really make some noise.
for a while, but even I'm glad it's over. Uh-oh. It's not over yet. What do we do now? I, I wish, wish Mia was here to sing a lullaby. Maybe they'd quiet down. Toby, you're a genius. I am? Well, sing a song about being quiet and get them all to join in.
a beautiful day for a tea party. Isn't that right, Teddy? Bulldogs are coming through! Brum, brum, brum. Best box ever! <laughs> <laughs> Left turn! Bulldogs! Sorry, Bunny. What did you say? Oh, yes. It <laughs> is a perfect day. Hey, I can't see where we're going! <gasps> ah! Run for your life! <laughs> oh, no! Bunny! Are you okay? Talk to me, Bunny! Ah! Eddie and Kobe Bulldozing Service, how can we help you? You can help us by cleaning up our tea party. Oops. You guys should be more careful. I said oops. It was an accident. You squished Bunny. We didn't mean to. Guys, we were just playing. But look what you did. Guys, you broke the teacup. Guys! Let's do something fun together. Like what? Well, you were already having a tea party. Why don't we all play restaurant? That's a great idea, Sophie. Let's go to the restaurant. And I get to be a head chef. Why can't I be head chef? Because your tea party wasn't wrecked. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. Wait up! Come in! Sit down! What would you like today? I know you're thirsty. Food is coming right up. Okay, big crowd. You can do this, Tessa. Chicken food and one bowl of cow food. Coming right up, Mia. Thanks. I need four bowls of cow feed and four bowls of sheep food. Time to serve some food. hungry out there. Uh, sure. You can give the chickens the green food and the cows the yellow food. Great job, Chef Tessa. Oh. Was it brown food for sheep or green food? <laughs> Very good. Would you like water with that? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, chef, we've got a problem. You better come out here. The animals are out 
acting like each other instead of themselves. <gasps> What in the name of crazy critters is going on here? Should we take them back to the farm? Yeah, the farm might help them remember how they're supposed to act. Great idea, guys. These mixed up animals need some farm schooling. <sighs> Come on, piggy piggies. Look, it's mud. Beautiful pig mud. <laughs> You're pigs, not sheep. You like mud. Mud is... Mm, ah. <laughs> Fun, see? You can make mud pies. Come on, please roll around in the mud. <laughs> Cows, don't lay eggs! Move! Tell me what a chicken says. Anyone? <coughs> Just a guess? <coughs> nice bull. I mean, rooster. Just moo all you want. Think happy thoughts. Now that's something you don't see every day. What's wrong with these animals? They were fine when they came to the restaurant. Aw, oh, rats. What if I gave them the wrong food? Maybe I didn't clean out the water glasses right. Maybe I did something wrong. Could be my fault. It was so busy in there. Guys, it was me. I knocked over the signs in front of the food bins, and I didn't remember which one went where. So I just... Guessed. You mixed up the animal food. Why didn't you say something? I, uh, I didn't want you to know I made a mistake. Don't be embarrassed. It was an accident. You should have told us. <laughs> Maybe we could have helped you figure out the right food to feed them. I remember the sign with the pig on it was all the way at the end. Yeah, and the sign with the cow was next to the pig sign. And wasn't the sheep sign next to... Yeah, right in between the cow and the chicken. That's, That's it. it! I wish I had told you right away. We could have all figured it out together before there was a problem. <laughs> Let's feed them the right food and see if it works. Everything's back to normal. You guys are the best. I'm sorry I got us into this mess. It's okay, Tessa. There's no problem too big for us to handle. Uh, 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 uh. Including that one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can look. Oh, great, the box. Thanks. This is a magic box. Tap it three times. Surprise! Aw, you guys fixed it up. Thank you. Won't you join our tea party? Sure. Thanks. I know. Let's make this a special tea party for animal kids. I'll start. Your turn, Kobe. Uh, moo, moo. Eddie? Um, ba, 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 And now, coming to you from our own backyard stage, it's the big 
Morning Show with our hosts, Eddie and Sophie. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, everyone. Today we're going on a <gasps> jungle safari. It's going to be a... My kitty. My kitty is stuck in the tree. Oh, it's a kitty emergency. Have no fear. <gasps> because... Super Eddie is here! <laughs> you have to save Mr. Papa. Hang on, Mr. Papa. Super Eddie's <laughs> always ready! <laughs> Good kitty. Nice, Mr. Papa. I'm <gasps> almost there. <gasps> no! Mr. Papa, you're okay. You're okay. Wait a second. Mr. Papa is a toy cat? Shh. He doesn't know he's a toy. I guess there's no job too big or too small for Super Eddie. Sounds like Super Eddie has got a case of super hiccups. Superheroes don't get hiccups. There's only one surefire cure for hiccups. We have to scare them away. That will never work. Nothing <laughs> scares Super Eddie. Wait, I got an idea. What if we turned our jungle safari into a jungle scare fari? A jungle scare fari? Go <laughs> ahead, Sophie. But you'll never scare these hiccups away. We'll see about that. Hit it, Ziggy. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song A scare Fari's going to scare away Eddie's hiccups? I just need a little help from. <laughs> ah, monkeys! <laughs> hey, you guys, want to scare someone? <laughs> the jungle's even more <laughs> fun when you're a superhero! Let's go exploring! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll scare him next time. Well, they sure scared me. This will definitely scare him. Eddie! Want to play a game of hide and seek? Sure, you head first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. <laughs> that was awesome. Super Eddie can fly. Let's do it again. <laughs> I've got one more idea that will definitely scare him. So, Leonard, if anyone can get rid of Eddie's hiccups, you can. Super ready! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Superhero, huh? <laughs> I eat superheroes for breakfast. Cool. 
<laughs> noise. Uh. How do you do that? Roar! Roar! <laughs> He wasn't scared at all. That's... that's impossible. Don't be upset, Leonard. You tried your best. You were super scary. Just not... <laughs> to me. Woo! <laughs> Ooh! Everyone's scared of something, even if you say you're not. Everyone's scared of something. Give me whatever you've got. Will that bring out your fright? The darker the better, I always shout. Everyone's scared of something, even if you say you're not. Did I mention I'm scared of the dark? Did I mention I'm scared of a lot? Huh? Rats or black cats, twisty old trees, spiders or snakes or things you can't see. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone else. But not me! Ah! Eddie? Eddie! Where are you? I'm over here. Did, uh, something scare you? What, what makes you say that? Yikes, thunderstorms, I admit it. I'm scared of thunderstorms. They're so loud and big and angry and, and... Eddie, it's okay to be scared. Some superhero I am. When the sky roars at me, I just roar back. Take that, you thunder. Your turn, Eddie. Come on, give it a try. Okay, Thunder, take this. Roar, roar! You did it. You named it and tamed it. I named it and tamed it. Roar! <laughs> hey, everyone. Eddie's hiccups are gone. You're right. We scared them away. This is a story of Little Miss Muffet who sat on a tuffet. I didn't know what a tuffet was. Is a mushroom okay? <sighs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a mushroom, eating her curds and whey. What are curds and whey? <sighs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a mushroom, eating her apple. Then along came a spider and sat down beside her. <gasps> and Super Eddie came to the rescue! You're not in this fairy tale. Hey, nothing says fairy tale like a superhero. Now, Miss Muffet, are you scared of spiders? Uh-huh, spiders. <laughs> Well, Miss Muffet, you've named your fear. Now you have to tame your fear. She's supposed to be frightened. Okay, down, Spider. Sit, Spider. <laughs> nice, <sighs> Spider. Run away, run away. But I'm not scared anymore. <sighs> oh, well. So little Miss Muffet sat on her mushroom, eating her apple with her pet spider that she wasn't scared of at all. All. The end. Yay, Yay Miss Muffet! Muffet. <laughs> <laughs> we may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air, together. <laughs> <laughs>